This video is for the renumbering tool with the Evolve 1.4 release. On your Revit toolbar, select the Evolve Mechanical tab and select the Renumber button. The Number Configuration window opens up with the Tag Definition at the top. This allows the user to set up how their tags will work. The first column predefines the order in which a tag will be applied. The next column describes the tag being defined. The user has the flexibility to apply a prefix or a suffix to the starting tag number. The next set of columns helps the user to define whether the item is a straight or a fitting toggle. The next columns define the service type that will be used for this tag setting. If you need to define the tag deeper, you can call out the pattern ID or even the item name for the tag definition. The renumber by elements or spool tells the system to either run the rule against each spool or default grouping. Under the Options section, you can append the service abbreviation, tag the item, or select the objects to be tagged in a specific order. You can also define your component separator that would be used between the prefix and the number. Leave this empty if no separator is desired. The lower middle section allows your rule to ignore certain properties as well as the ability to use the same number for identical parts. When we write the tag information, by selecting the item number or the fabrication notes, we will write the tag information into the MAJ file. If you write the tag into the mark, it will not be saved to your MAJ, but will be stored in your Revit file. The selection filters are pre-built filters for the quicker selection of elements. By selecting the pipe only, only pipe and fittings will be selected, even if we select all the elements on the screen. In this example, we are selecting a run of pipe. As you can see, when we renumber the fittings, we have a prefix of F for fittings, W for welds, and S for straight pipe. Also note, notice the tag number enclosure. These enclosures can be defined in the family annotation. By selecting Evolve Mechanical tab at the top of your ribbon and selecting Settings at the annotation ribbon, we can set up our tag shapes to have different family types being applied to the renumbered tags. Also to the right side of the screen, we can dictate placement and location of the automatic placement. 